long enough if you can love me I'll be just yours, you can hold me Even let you undress my mind Say the play it, watch it, then press rewind What's up? Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, we're actually headed to a place called Grange, which is pretty interesting. Oh, this squad's here. I'm not gonna be drifting, but uh, I guess some of the subscribers rented a private track because they bought a car. So, I think I'm gonna go on a ride along. But first off, I gotta grab my helmet, I gotta grab a couple things, and then we can go. Can we look at this beautiful sight of tuna crate boxes? We're getting shipped out today few hundred today, a few hundred tomorrow, and continuous. If you guys want to be a member of Tuner Crate, make sure you guys use this coupon code on the screen right here for 40% off your first Tuner Crate ever. We are shipping almost freaking six days a week to make sure it gets to you guys for Christmas. So use this code, really good deal, amazing stuff. Basically, you don't want to miss out. This is legit primo stuff. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to get into here. It looks dark. There's no light because it's not plugged in. I use my flashlight. My helmet's right there. Let me try to squeeze in my fat butt over here. Go ahead. Steer, steer, steering wheel? Anybody? Steer? No. Helmets. Check. All right, I'm freaking out, Christian and Kevin, real quick. <laughs> autopilot. No way. How are you doing, bro? <laughs> that thing's crazy. Uh, yeah, so it's autopilot. It's uh, cruising at set at 80, uh, but it's at 73 based on the car in front of you. Yeah. And then it's just it's just gonna drive. It doesn't like it doesn't actually go to the location it tells you, but it'll drive in a straight line within the lanes with the car in front of you the entire time. And then you gotta do input sometimes if they ask. All right, Christian. Turn right. I'm not the smartest one here. Road. Turn right. Yeah, that's a real road. <laughs> that's a that's a track. That's a, track, that's a train track. What the fuck? You guys do realize you're driving with an Asian, <laughs> and um, oh I've taken you here. I Not think, right. I think there's a racetrack here. Oh god, oh god, there oh god. Is. Hey, up, man? you guys race car drivers? <laughs> Dude, the way. road is fucking crazy. Right? <laughs> I was like, I cannot bring any car here. Uh -huh. Okay guys, off-roading session done. Two videos in one, and now we're here at the track. <laughs> Yo, I just spotted a hustle and grind sticker right here. So I'm Kylan, um, I rented out Grange for the day, and it uh, should be pretty fun. What are you driving? Uh, Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. Twin Turbo? Yeah. So today, I rented out Grange, you know, I hit up Mike, I was like, yo, could you come out, you know, maybe? He goes, yeah, dude, I'll shoot through. I was like, oh, could you bring your car? He goes, no, nah, maybe next time. So, uh, you know, he just came out, just come watch, get some ride-alongs, and get some few shots. Kyle, you want to tell us what's going on? Um, my clutch broke. <laughs> well, actually, just the just the lever. So, I'm trying to rig something up right now. Day one subscriber for Tuna Crate. That's sick, dude. He's got the hat too. So, I bought my car four months ago as a shell. Uh, every there's nothing on it. So I bought the motor from JDM California and I swapped it in the weekend after my birthday. I bought coilovers, bought an angle kit from the pop shop and just some wheels and a bucket seat and called it a day and started drifting. Hey, car sounds nice. Let me hear it. Thank you. Let me hear it.
like taken out because I kicked it too hard. <laughs> so I had to jerry rig it and I use a cotter pin instead of the correct pin. <laughs> so let's see if this works. <laughs> Clutch fixed. Woo! Let's see what we can do. and I bought the simulator with Forza Horizon and all that good stuff and I started drifting with that and then I just got a Nissan 300ZX for my 16th birthday and I started drifting and then that's how I evolved and just kept practicing on open roads and parking lots. I really want to do a V8 in my car, not gonna lie, and I do want to cage it. And after that, you know, I just want to do, you know, little competitions here and there, but nothing too major. But I just really like to drive the car for fun and just to, you know, show all my friends, you know, like, you know, I'm building this car, like, let's go take a ride, you know, you know, and just have all that fun. Done. Tire is done. That was sick, dude. Yeah? But the tire is done. Yeah, the sure. tire is done. Dude, you actually. <laughs> so, how long have you been drifting? Uh, well, I started drifting when I was 16. Oh, shit. Uh, I actually started off on Forza <laughs> with the steering wheel and simulator. And you know, I just got his 300ZX and yeah. I just was like, let me try to drift it. <laughs> yeah. 
Smooth. Thank you, man. Smooth. And it's been a while. Yeah. It's How been long? Almost three years. Three years. Second, what? Maybe third lap. Yeah, that was my third lap. Three years ago, his first, uh, his last time drifting, and this is his third lap that you just saw. I gotta say, fucking primo. <laughs> but the tire blew out, so <laughs> we're headed back to the pit. Wow, that was fucking fun. We're gonna go change the tire out real quick. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Some super sick drone shots blew out more tires. Uh, same right tire or left tire. Rumor says he's gonna uh, do a burnout for those tires. Cool, let's go on the tower. Oh wow. Let's go. Oh shit, Kevin's wearing the backpack. Oh shit. Oh shit. Top secret. Jake, look at this. This is a little tower we're standing on right yeah. now. Like no tire smoke or anything. Like just literally every corner. The backpack guys. Yeah. I'm surprised he, he has it like to like get like right here, you have to like Beamer's getting it. Oh, dude, he's got Tokyo Drift playing. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm being a model today for Kevin. I never, ask Kevin, I'm never usually in the product pictures. Never. Rarely. I don't like taking photos. But today I will because backpack is launching very, very soon. Shameless plug. Very, very shameless plug. It's a good backpack. He had it for about two weeks, week and a half, two weeks. And he likes it too. It's it's really nice, dude. It's, it's comfy. I'll give like more detailed information about it, like how I designed it, why it's certain ways, why the straps are like this, why is the pattern like this. I actually thought about it. It took almost a year to make. So let's go. Today was freaking fun. I didn't drift today because Daniel Kilogram said, Mike, uh, don't do it because you're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna develop bad habits and he doesn't want me to break my car. And he is my mentor. He's my teacher. He's my master. I'm his grasshopper. I'm not gonna disrespect him and just go, thanks for the lesson and I'm just gonna go drift because I can drift now. I listen to him. I respect him. So next time I will go. In the meantime, we are buying car parts and like um, uh, equipment and tools in order to have our own pack when we go out. So I did get an impact wrench. I got a, um, I got a bigger torque wrench. I got a floor jack, a lot of cool stuff. Thanks to you guys making this possible. But next time we will drift. I had a lot of fun today. I'm gonna call it a night. I went home, worked, gym, grocery shopping, more work, and now I'm back here with you guys. So I'm gonna say good night to you guys. Peace out, good night, stay loyal. Bah, till next time. Oh, by the way, Snapchat, best way to reach me. Peace.